we got to give it another go. You know why? We have not yet opened the blue neon ink. Haven't done it yet. If you guys want to fast forward to maybe about three minutes into the video, maybe two minutes in, that's where uh, we'll start cracking stuff. But this is a freaking sealed case of Neon Dynasty collector boxes. Oh man, English this time. We are hoping to get our hands on the blue neon ink. I know everyone else is like, screw the blue. We want the green, we want the red. We already did the green and red, silly. We only need one more to have the trifecta, which I think is freaking sweet. That you could pull out of here. The yellow one, you can't pull out of these. That's only for like certain game stores and whatnot. Uh, but wow, are you guys freaking ready for madness? How's that for a thumb? Are we looking pretty cool with the thumbnail? Maybe? Okay. Let's do this, baby. Oh my. We are in an insert. We're going to crack these three right now. Wow, that was actually quicker than I thought. All right. Patrons, good luck. Subscribers, wish us good luck. Wish them good luck. This is where dreams come true or where dynasties fall. I know it's crazy. First up, we got Tyler. Good freaking luck, buddy. This is for all the marbles. If we pull another one, I'm going to flip the freaking script. I don't even know if it's possible to do another one. <sighs> Let's give it a shuffle. So to get these breaks, you got to be a patron of the channel. You can get in. Um, the bottom is 5 bucks to get in these breaks. Um, top is 25 there's some extra perks along the way, like shout outs and whatnot. Here we go. And uh, shout outs update on the third of every month. So don't think I'm forgetting anybody. It's just it's how I go about it. It makes it real easy and clean that way. Um, I don't screw up. I don't forget anything. I don't got to keep, you know, adding new ones every day. And you know, it's just very time consuming. Well, Tyler, we are off to a bad start opening this pack. Maybe that's where the luck is. We will never open a pack this way again. Oh my God. I'm a little nervous because I got kids sleeping right now, so I'm not trying to be too freaking crazy loud. Jackson, of course, is still awake being a psychopath, but that's what he does best. He's so cute. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's do this. Tyler, Tyler CLA, getting two freaking packs, that one and this guy right freaking here. Let's go. All right, we're looking for the big stuff, man. We are looking for the freaking big stuff. Oh, come on, baby. Just some dynamite juice. That's all we need, some dynamite juice. We got a lot. Uh, Alejandro, as we like to call him. Alejandro, Silkar, Justice. We're going to fly through this, by the way. Cloud Steel. Oh, no, I hate these kind of packs. These are like the packs you dread to have. You dread to get those kind of packs. Uh, yeah, same link in the description if you want to get into these box breaks or into the battles. We have a lot of fun on this channel. We open all the big stuff. We open huge case breaks, all types of crazy things. This card's still over a few bucks. I wonder. Speculation, these cards are going to be like eight bucks in like a year. Five, eight, five to eight bucks. I don't know, man. I, I think they're great, but I think they're going to do some kind of crazy reprint down the road. And I just think they're going to kind of teeter off. Once the next, hoo hoo, Kato, once the next big thing comes out, you know, things kind of like get washed under the rug. But those Japanese lands are freaking dope, though. Uh, there's Shizuki, which is very nice. I'll probably get this Fleeveroo. A whole lot of these guys. The mech, come on. Oh, Tyler, you sick SOB. This in foil is like 80 bucks. I think this regular one right here is like 50. It's freaking crazy. That gets the old bell. Who endures? And Ogre. Wow, you got two cards we're going to freaking sleeve up. Now, in this break, I'm going to do pauses so it doesn't take forever while you watch me sleeve everything. Anyone wondering? Yeah, that was hard caseable. We threw that in a sleeve in a hard case. So, congrats, freaking Tyler. Off rip, dude. Pulling some freaking nasty stuff. Kylan, up on deck next. Good luck, Kylan. You're getting one, two, three, four. Oh, man. Paper, rock, scissors right now. Here we go. Okay. I got you. I got you. I swear I got you. Now, if I win, you got to let me know. Here we go. Here we go. One, two. No, we're going to do on shoot. We're going to do one. Two. There's no shoot. I'm sorry. So it's one, two, three. So on three, you got to throw down. There's no shoot. Ready? So one, two, three. That's it. One, two, three. Ooh, did I snip your little paper? That's right, baby. We're good at cutting stuff. Oh, man. All right, Kylan, I know I beat you. I know I beat you. All right, here we go. Kylan, good luck, buddy. Oh, gosh, here we go. Skipping all this in the front and getting right to the bread and butter. Kylan, good freaking luck. Springleaf, universal surveillance. Wow, banging out the Kados today. All right, that's two freaking Kados. 
very nice, sleeve worthy. Reckoner Bank, Bank Buster and the Toad Rider. I got a photo of me riding a toad. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, Wizards stole, totally stole the toad riding idea from me. No, that's not what happened. It actually happened afterwards. I was at the, uh, the rainforest. I know, kind of like the zoo, but the rainforest. It's crazy. In Cleveland, Ohio, really sweet, man. Had a fun time there. Took a little jaxy. All right, here we go, baby. Covert, thousand-faced, shadow boy. Sure, ruthless. Come on. Oh, Ooh, no. Now we're hoping for there. So that's pack two. Kylan, you got yourself a Kato so far, showcase. I know the price on Kato has tanked. I don't think it's gone up. But that's a card that you never know what will happen with. Uh, down the road, we'll see what's up. Here we go. It's like a ninja planeswalker, kind of. Okay. Oh, this set still is amazing with the art. I just I just love this set's art. All right, March. A research Thief. Spring Leaf? We're looking for the friggin' Fat Daddy, the Dragon Dude. Explosive Singularity. I don't think I pulled... Maybe I did. But that extended art foil looks really freaking nice. So really cool Explosive Singularity there. Last pack for Kylan. He's like, dude, pick it up, bro. Pick it freaking up. So I just learned, well not, I didn't just learn, but I learned that the Japanese Etch Foil Wanderer, that sucker's worth like almost double what the regular one's worth. I had no idea. So that was like a $600 card we opened in that video along with the freaking Neon Ink Red. How insane is that? Oh my goodness. Oh, Uprising. Oh, that was it. Mm. Get that taste out your mouth. Kylan, yeah, he did subpar. The excitement must go on. We're up to Nesby. Nesby's getting the rest of this box. He had six. So all six of these packs are for Nez. Nesby, good luck, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Some of the craziest pulls we've opened on this channel. Um, I, I mean, the list goes on and on. And just recently, we've been opening some crazy older vintage stuff. If you haven't heard, we're doing a, revi a sealed revised booster box. And I learned a little bit about Summer Magic. There is a chance, a chance, very small chance, that we could actually pull some summer magic. It's a crazy possibility out of one of these revised. Ho oh, ho, shut the frickin' screen submarine door. There's water coming in, pal. Uh, there you go, with the Phyrexian frickin' text. Tamio, juicy, juicy, that is what's up, man. We are doing, we are doing really frickin' good. And there's Mind Link, dude. Uh, that's sleeve worthy itself. Usually any card like I'd say usually it's like over 20 bucks gets the sleeve now. Um, and then like 40 bucks and up gets a hard case. Got to protect the good stuff, baby. Got to protect the good stuff. Oh, man. <sighs> Someone do it. Someone pull the freaking blue. That would just be the most like incredible thing we've ever done. <laughs> Explosive Singularity Etch. That's pretty cool. I think this price is below 10 bucks right now. I may or may not be doing prices on this video. It all freaking depends. I'm not really too certain. Um, I may or may not. Depends on time. Because the, um, the price is, do it does take a lot of time. Um, I mean, this video, like, let's say I did pricing on this. Just for, from start to finish, from listing this, organizing the break, the case break, purchasing, uh, when it arrives, then, uh, you know, writing names on everything. Uh, let's say I do edits on it where we do pricing. Oh, Eater of Virtue. I thought this thing tanked in value. Um, let me just finish this pack. Thundering Ryu. Oh, man. Soul Transfer. Something juicy. Eater of Virtue. Not going to cut it there, friend. Um, and then when it comes down to the box opening and then uh, the shipping, which my mom plays a major freaking role in. I will tell you that right now. My mom plays a major role in my shipping. She's retired now, and she does the shipping for Bad Boy Gaming. Not all of it, but I'd say about 80% of it. Uh, she she does. Um, but between all that and then going to the post office box, I mean, round frickin' trip for one of these bo or for one of these breaks like this, if I did edits as well, you're probably looking at at least 10 hours invested just in this one opening. So if I can cut three hours out of it here and there uh, along the way, you know, uh, on these huge case breaks, it goes a long way for me. But I also am curious to see pricing. Usually, um, I'll always price at least a few. Definitely at least a few uh, openings from a new set. But then as we get, you know, uh, deeper down the road, as the set gets a little older, then I tend to back off the pricing, unless it's a battle or something. Double Mythic Pack so far, Jugen. Oh, Triple Mythic Pack. Are we looking at something just stupid and disturbing? We're going to find out. 
Oh boy. Oh, oh, that's nice though. That was a sweet little pack for you, dude. Okay, triple frickin' mythic pack. I don't know why I'm separating these. We just put a mythic with the rares. Who cares? Uh, the rares go with the mythics all day. But yeah, usually anything over ten bucks gets the sleeve. But a lot of work it goes into these kind of crazy breaks. Um, and that's just for one little video. So if I can shave three hours off, you know, with all the editing, I will. But if I have, you know, the extra time, like I'm just sitting around, Jax is just playing, he's you know, playing really nice or whatever, um, you know, I'll, I'll start doing uh, the edits on it and whatnot. Access denied, Lion Sash, Storm's Edge, oh, Weaver of Harmony, oh man. But you know, we are hoping for the big dog. Um, no real crazy pulls on that one, Nesby. Sorry, pal. But he did get that Tamiyo. Garrett, you're up, pal. I can't even lie to kick it, guys. If... We end up pulling the red ink or the green. I'm going to be pissed. Oh, I'm going to be so salt. I'll be so salty. I'm, just, I'm totally kidding. That'd be amazing. Like, if we pull two reds before anyone else pulls one, that's just freaking nutty, dude. But we really want that blue just to complete the trifecta. And I hear the blue is the easiest one to get. Of course, with my crazy freaking luck on this channel and the amount of packs we open as well. Uh, it's like a matter of time. You know, uh, before we hit it, but I'm not stopping. We will do more case breaks until we pull the blue ink as well. We pull another red ink, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me, pal. Doesn't matter. We pulled the green ink out of English packs, and we pulled the red ink out of a Japanese pack, which is an English text. It's the only way they made them. A lot of people were confused about that. And I was confused when I first saw it too, but I guess that's the only way they did it was print those in English. So we got Moon Sage's Scion starting things off for Garrett, not too shabby. Those two seem to go together. You got him, not bad. And then you got Bulk Boy right here, you know? Oh, what a little tease showing on up. Ooh, I don't think I've pulled that one yet. Not foil, but man, that looks sharp. Is that crazy? There's cards I still haven't pulled from this set. Like, that is just mind-boggling, if you ask me. Oh, the living lore. Um, nice back-to-back -back extenders right there. That was pretty cool. Okay. One more pack for Garrett. Garrett, that was a nice pack. That was a nice pack. Shwink. Here we go, baby. Shake and bake. <sighs> Anyone else pull the red or green? Man, the no one's going to be commenting on that. Uh, or the blue. If you pulled the blue, I'm, freaking, I'm, I'm most jealous of you right now. <laughs> if you pulled the blue. All right, Rampant Rejuvenator. Silent Spider Boy, Invoke Despair, oh, Lizard Blades, Son of a Beanbag. All right, okay, okay, okay. Oh, and at any moment, we should, oops, that's, that's it. At any moment, we should also be doing Onslaught. Just so you guys know, um, Onslaught should be going down, uh, the on Onslaught booster box, almost at any freaking given moment. So uh, it could be uh, the, tomorrow's video or the video after that. And I think I'm saving the revised box for Sunday. I should be getting the revised box in the mail tomorrow. But I think we're going to save it for Sunday because that's when it'll get the most views. Uh, most people are off work. And I really want to share that experience with everybody. Uh, Samuel Hav. But if you do get a chance and you can share it, you know, that's freaking amazing. I'd appreciate that. But my ninjas, we have pulled the dopest of the dopest freaking pools on this channel. <laughs> it's freaking nutty. Oh, and Open Boosters, the guy who cracked, uh, what was it, three Black Lotuses? Um, yeah, he's going to be in that box break. That's how big it is. That's how you know it's a big deal. Also, MTG Attitude showing on up. Just uh, a lot of hype, man. A lot of freaking hype. Ooh, Soaring City. Samuel, not bad, dude. That's a beautiful card. That'll get the old sleeve room. Ascendant Acolyte. Come on, something freaking nasty. Sp Spirit Sisters Call. Um, not sure what that's at right now. Not freaking sure. March of Swirling Mist. Oh, gosh. Oh, inventive iteration. I was like, did we get something big? Not quite yet, my friend. Not quite yet. Yeah, so uh, I'm in that break too. So if we lose, if, if we don't get a single freaking uh, uh, dual land, one, I'm going to be really pissed off. Two, I'm going to be embarrassed. Three, I'm going to feel terrible. But also, I'm taking the L with you guys on that one. Uh, but let's freaking keep our fingers crossed. That is not the damn case. I'm hoping, I think I said four. When I uh, talked about it on my Facebook, I'm like, we're going to get four. Mirror box. Like I said, that card's going to keep going up, and it is. And the other one's coming down. Uh, that does a similar from back in the day. Uh, nice little mirror box, though. Tribute and Storm's Edge. Okay. Two more packs for Samuel. 
Sammy, my boy. My cat's name was Sammy. That's crazy, huh? Probably a little trivia on the Patreon at some point. Okay, there we go. And my dog's name was Rocky. There you go. Um, I had uh, two pet mice. One was named Dre and one was named Snoop. Now you guys know. <laughs> Ambusher. Invoke Despair. Come on, something sick. Aerial Surveyor. I don't see that one all the time. At least I don't think. I don't I don't see it that often. Uh, Soul of Comic Oh, Scrap Welder. Dang. All right. Still got one more pack for Sammy. Sammy, do something big, man. Samuel L. Jackson. Do something big. Here we go. We saw that Will Smith and freaking Chris Rock uh, slap her around the world. Anybody? I mean, I, I think everybody did by now. Especially if you're in social media, you had to come across a meme or something. But thoughts on that? Keep it clean, but thoughts on that? Uh, I'm not going to give my own thoughts. It, it is what it is. It happened. That's all I can say. But I want to hear what you guys got to say about that. Because that was nuts, man. That was nuts. Uh, Kosai. Thousand Face Shadow. Ooh, Devouring Chaos. Not the one we're looking for. I wonder if there's like a pack where there's two Devouring Chaoses in there. You know? Like you get the red and you get the freaking... Uh, you get the blue or something. Or not the red. You get the red and you get the, the purple, you know? I wonder if anyone's done that one yet. On to the next one. Whoa, who's next? Who the frick? Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> John. Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy's up next. He's getting the last six packs. John, I'm feeling like a blue ink for you, pal. It's nuts, the blue ink. I, we haven't hit one yet. We, I think we've opened, what, 20? I want to say 24. I'd have to count them all, but anywhere between 24 and 26 collector boxes of uh, uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. And uh, I think it's just nuts. There's a nice little uh, mythic for you, John. Uh, I think it's crazy. Now, we haven't pulled a blue one, but we've pulled a green and red, which the red one, uh, we still I don't think we yet have a... Ooh, that's nice. There you go. Um, I don't think we have exact odds of pulling the red guy just yet. Um... Or even the, the the blue? What is it like? The blue's maybe one in fifty boxes. Is it one in fifty? One in twenty? One in fifty? Something like, somewhere between there, I would imagine. The green one is like what? Between uh, it's about a hundred boxes, maybe two hundred boxes, roughly, maybe. And the red's got to be five hundred plus, something something like that. All right, John, let's go, man. Ooh, Kappa Cannoneer. Uh, this one has gone down in price a little bit. Uh, but, I mean, as long as there's no reprint of it in uh, the upcoming Commander Collector boxes, uh, then you'll be good, because uh, that'll check back up. Ooh, the Soaring City. Two very nice, heavily played blue cards that just came out of this set. March of Reckless Joy, Biting Palm Ninja. Mmm, bit the dust on that one, friend. Bit the dust on that one. Sometimes we put things in confusing piles. Why are you guys even over here? Go hang out over there with your friends. Okay. And, and you all belong over in this pile as well. Okay, keeping it good, keeping it good, baby. I'm waiting for that day where I don't hit the unpause button. I, I don't unpause the video, and we have like six packs not recorded. Oh, man, when that day comes, I'm going to have some serious explaining to do to whoever the freaking heck gets them. I might just have to redo it. I don't, I don't know how that would work. March of Reckless Joy, but accidents do happen. I'm a human. Organic Extinction, Cora the Boundless. Had higher hopes for you, sweetheart. Not really. I remember when this came out, I'm like, that was a four drop. I could see it, but farewell, not etched, and Cloud Steel Kin. Oh. Okay. It's not over yet, man. That lady hasn't sung. Oh, 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 heard that. All right. Johnny Boy. Come on. If you guys made it this far in the video, I want you to tell me the story. I want you to say this. Say, Joey, I'm a Jukai. I know, it's weird, but in my past life, I was a samurai. I was just trying to get my Besiju on. But, unfortunately, someone wouldn't let me keep the modern age alive. So I had to throw them into a swamp. And they got buried really deep. And they became a tranny. And that's kind of weird. It's a tranny. But we don't care. We have fangs in our ears. And we're very proud to be a stalker. I know. We're coiling up. Still stalking you. You gotta keep your eyes peeled, man. Because it's the suffering of your life that you will feel. It's gonna be a swift reckoning. A very one. More like a reconfiguration of your entire existence all into one box break and that is going to cause an uprising the mech warriors from sega genesis will rise and the march of otherworldly light will defeat the spirits oh, beautiful. 
If you say that, I'm going to think you're weird. Because you know what? Only a weird person can come up with that. I'm pretty weird. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Okay. That swamp we just opened, that was the most expensive swamp. Last time I looked, it was like five fifty. It might. Ugh, these packs are freaking terrible to open, man. It's so easy to damage the token. <coughs> it's so easy to damage the token in the back. It's not even funny. Like, I really despise these packs, dude. For that reason. You gotta be careful with these guys. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna check the token on this one afterwards. All right. We got red. Let's go, man. Step it up, pal. John, big things. Because the, the English boxes don't feel as good as the Japanese boxes. And that's by a long, a long shot. Consumes all. Pretty cool. And Spring Leaf Avenger. It's like they load it up, the freaking Japanese boxes. So the Japanese players take a liking to the game more so. Anybody think that's crazy? Do you think I'm... Is that some crazy conspiracy? Or do you think that that is actually a possibility? Is that, a, is that the reality we live in? All I know is I open those Japanese boxes. I've never seen such fire in my freaking life. If you haven't seen the red neon ink opening, it wasn't just the red neon ink card that like was worth a lot of money. There was another card that was like six or five, six hundred bucks in there as well. And not only that, but then there was another one that was a few hundred bucks. And there was another one that was like a hundred bucks. It was just like the endless rain of value out of there. I'm like, this is like, I think we probably pulled close to three thousand dollars out of three boxes. It was like, what the hell is going on here? People were losing their mind. There's Mirror Box, Lizard Blades, March of Swirling Mist. Not gonna cut it. Okay, that, that, that consumes all right there. John, that was not that great. That box was freaking weak sauce. Token not damaged. Trent, good freaking luck. Good freaking luck. Trent is getting two, followed by Jacob, Patrick, uh, Patrick Long and Jacob, Jacob Marr to close it out. Trent, good luck, guys. We need to see some freaking serious value. I think we, we've we've gone long enough without some sick pools. I still think the the Japanese boxes retain more value. And when I say more value, I'd say on average between twenty and like fifty percent more value than English boxes. I'm almost tempted to do. Another Japanese uh, opening. Maybe a case break. What do you guys think of that? I mean, that's where we pulled Big Red. Not that we're going to pull Big Red again, but uh, it could happen. It could happen. If it happens, anybody's going to be here. All right, Trent. Good luck. Trent's on deck. He's getting two packs. Bink. These two right here. Did I shuffle those? Oh, too late now. All right, Ronan. This guy. Dookie. <laughs> Palm Ninja. Come on, baby. Come on. We're shaking bake. We got to step it up here. Cammy, you like paws and Brizzlies? Mirror box. Extender? Yeah. Extended art. Okay. Nice little extended art mirror box. One card I said was going to go up. It definitely going up. The other card I'm hoping for was Cammy. Oh, man. that uh, That's messing with me. Sorry, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll block the faces of uh, the collective company in the back there. Uh, that and the Kami War. And the Kami, the Kami War was an epic freaking fail, by the way. <laughs> Got Dookie, Dookie, Dookie. Soul Transfer. Still waiting for it to go up. Aerial Surveyor. Rasana. Oh, no. Goro, Goro. God, the restoration of Alejandro. Not cutting it, Trent. Yeah, Trent, I think that was the worst out of everyone so far. Hey, I, I call him Spade Spade, baby. Jacob. Good luck. Jacob's going to get here and here. I don't... At 270 a box right now, which that's what they're going for. Plus, you got to pay tax on that. So, like 300. Let's just let's just call it even 300. 300 dollars a box for these right now. I really hope they drop. Like, let's go back down to like 250 out the door or something. I don't know if that's going to happen, but because these are being mass opened, you know, we're going to find out. Um, I hope they drop though, because I mean the value is just not here. Unless you got to pull like you're looking, you're like hunting for lottery cards, and that's I think how Wizards designed this intentionally. You know, this set was definitely designed to get them lottery hits. Uh, there's Toad Rider, and it's uh, etchy. All right, one more pack for Jacob. Will Jacob do big things, or will he go home a freaking bum like a few others in this video? I hope not, man. I hope not. We all have bum days, guys. I've been there myself, man. I've been there myself. Reckoner, Bankbuster. I love that name. 
Organic extinction, go on. Toad Rider Boy, ooh, ooh, now that's nice. Soaring City, very, very cool hit. Invoke Calamity, I just like how that looks. It looks like it's worth more, oh, that's it. Dang it, man, I feel like sometimes it's not over yet. You know, like, where's the big hit? Come on, doggy. All right, Jacob, you, you did better than, than probably half the people. Patrick Soundick. Patrick's getting the big six. These three, these three. These two are going to be left for Jacob Marr in the end. If if this box is another dud, I think the first box was the best so far. The first box in this video was the best, for sure. We had some nice pulls in there. Um, but then after that one, man, it's been just weak. If these three boxes are just kind of eh, you know, then those last three, I'm praying that there's a freaking nice boatload of value hiding in there. Brilliant restoration. There you go. Sent an acolyte. How about another one of those <laughs> lands? And there it is. Who indoors shows up? Ask you shall receive, baby. Ooh. Very nice, Pat. Very freaking nice. That's sleevable all freaking day. And we got March of Wretch Sorrow. How about a foil one of those? Cloud Steel Current. Are we asking too much now? Back it up a little bit. Asking too much? Okay. Nice. Uh, Besiege you. Who indoors? I oh, mean. I under I undervalued that card. I, I, I knew it was valuable. I knew I, I, I knew it would see a lot of freaking play. Um and a lot of decks, but I didn't think it'd be at 25 bucks right now. And it is. It's it's up there, man. It is freaking up there. But remember, this is one of the sets that's gonna have probably the most freaking openings. <laughs> Tons of people are cracking these to get the uh the big money cards out of them. So at some point I think that price is gonna go down. There you go. Nice gin for you. Or gin and juice, nice progress, freaking tyrant. Taking that all day. We got the invoke, so nice two big hits uh, for Patrick so far. Invoke justice and ooh, Umazawa foil. That's not bad at all. All right, Jacob or uh, yeah, Jacob keeps throwing me off, so I'm gonna put Jacob right over here. There we go. All right, two big hits for my dude. Can we do one more big hit for him? Come on, Pat. Patrick's been with me for probably like three or four years. Pat, let me know how long has it been, dude. It's been a long freaking time, buddy. It's been a long freaking time. Pat, didn't, I think I met Pat in person, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, ambusher, explosive singularity. Bada bing. Back to back mythics. And that's a good one right there. Hot dogs. So he is kicking, but ho, oh, three mythics. Three freaking mythics. And uh, yeah, three, three, three mythics in one little opening here. Four Mythics in one pack. Don't tell me this is going to be something to die for behind here. We just opened four Mythics in one pack. It's right here. Oh, that's still a nice card. The Reality Chip Extended Art Foil. Wow. Four myth. That that was a freaking pack and a half. Okay. Very freaking nice. Very freaking nice. I think Reality Chip might be a $10 card now. An Extended Art Foil. Probably like six, seven bucks, but man, seeing a heck ton of play. There's decks built around it. All right, here we go, Pat. Let's go, man. Ooh, Cammy. Wow, that last pack was crazy good. All right, Cloud Centurion, Fable of Burgundy. Ooh, wow. This dude's getting all the freaking luck. <laughs> Joey, shuffle the boxes, shuffle the packs. Uh, Moon Sage's Scion, Rat Ninja. Foil showcase. Wow. Get a look get a look at this dude's pulls over here, man. Get a look at his pulls right there. <laughs> those are all sleeving. We're sleeving all those. And there might even be one more card in here. I didn't sleeve for him. Uh that that's uh that's up there. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let's go, baby. Kick the tires, light the fires, come on. One more big hit. Fang dude. <laughs> wow. Calm down on the freaking mythics. It's not a most, this might be like four bucks tops, but still another mythic for my dude. Uh, battle armor, living lore, oh, invoke the ancients. Ah, oh, dawn crown, dawn freaking crown foil showcase. Oh boy, one more pack to go. Pat, is this it? Is this it right here? Is this where all the money's hiding? Is right here. Right here in this pack. No, we just opened all the money. I don't think there's any more freaking dough left up in this uh, box here. 
All right, Prosperous, Fur Master, Tribute. Come on. Swift Reconfiguration, Stolchel Transfer. Oh, not a Dawn Crown. I'm not going to cut it there. Oh, Ogre Head Hell. Man, you went out on a friggin' dud. All right. Really freaking cool. I got to sleep a lot up here. It all comes down to this. For this opening. Jacob, make sure you guys come back and check out the last three boxes. It ain't over yet, baby. Jacob, let's see a foil etch. Did we open a foil? Well, we did open one. We opened a singularity. Oh, if that was like our case hit or something, that's terrible. That was terrible. All right. Come on, baby. Let's get some freaking hell's bells. Invoke the ancients. Invoke the ancients. Drum bellower. Core Titan dude. The head helmer. And Grease Fang. Okiba boss. Ugh. Sorry, Jacob. Hopefully this last pack. Hey, last pack moth, probably back. We uh we have a tendency. I have a tendency to open. Man, that's terrible how these packs open like that, man. I don't like that. It's so easy to damage the cards. Um, I got a tendency to pull fire on the last pack. And here we go again. Jacob, good luck, pal. Even though all the freaking fire looks like it's out of this box. But we're gonna make a miracle happen right now. Alright. Ink Rise Infiltrator. Lion Sash. Solid little pool there. Taking it. Lion Sash with Pentanet Warlord. Tribute to Harobi. Mm -hmm. Tamio completed Sage. Hey, last pack moth pretty much back. I'm taking that in. It's nice, nice, very nice. And oh the thundering Ryu. Hey. Can I can I get credit for that one? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's the alternate. Pretty nice. <laughs> Thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, yeah, check out uh, link in the description for other crazy box breaks. Um, also, what I did, uh, I opened up the twelve dollar tier more because I, I didn't realize it was full. It was at one forty, and I'm like, okay, let's make it two hundred. So I opened up fifty more slots. I already like six of those are already filled. So yeah, definitely, uh, if you want to get up in there, check it out, man. That also gets your name in the credits uh, of most videos as well. It's like half the videos um, get the name in the credits. Uh, I think that's a cool little perk. Sometimes I throw in weird little wacky names. We have fun, huh? No, I actually don't even do that. I think I've done that once. <laughs> Good luck finding that video. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. And I notice other people, they'll, like, this is funny. Like, as long as there's no swear words in it, I'll put it in. But, like, they say some crazy stuff. This one person said he was going to knife somebody or something like that. It, I'm like, what? But that was their patron name. Like, they were trying to send a message. I'm like, oh, my God. So, uh, yeah, crazy stuff, man. <laughs> crazy freaking stuff goes on here. Uh, Joy Moth, Bad Blood Gaming. Get out of here. Check the description. Skadoosh.